Hi, everyone. Welcome to my studio. I'm Ann Hine, Embroidery Software Specialist for Genome America, and I want to talk to you about using the Artistic Digitizer software and formatting your USB stick. A lot of us are confused about doing that, and some of our machines need a format and some of us don't. And formatting will put that EMB and the EMBF folder on your USB stick so that your machine can read it. So let me show you how you can do that in the Artistic Digitizer software. I'm gonna open my software. Here we go. And I have a design on here already. And what I'm gonna do is, and I have a USB stick that I just put into my USB port. I'm gonna come right up here to my CM17 and I'm gonna choose USB storage. And when I get there, I have a choice of two USB sticks and I do want to use the one that says Annie. That's the one I just put in. And when I click on it, it does this. The selected drive is going to be prepared, be prepared for my CM17. Do I want to continue? And I'm going to say yes. And what it does, as you can see on the screen right here, is the EMBF folder is right there, which means if I use this up arrow, there's my EMB folder. And within it, when I double click, when I double click, there's my EMBF folder. So depending on what I want to do, I can save something in, I can open this and save it to my EMBF folder. So I'm going to say this is uh, love for me like that. And I'm going to say export. And then I'm going to go back up again to look at that. And I'm going to open up Annie. There's the EMBF. And if I double click, there's the, so the one I saved. And I did save it as a JPX. Down here, you have options of JPX, Jeff, and Jeff Plus. Your JPX is your Jeff file that has all your information plus a graphic thumbnail. So I always use the first one on the top. That's the one I use. And the other thing is, let's go back up. There's nothing, when I go back up to my EMB, I, I only have the EMB folder. I don't have any designs here. Some machines will allow me to have designs outside that folder. And then here's my EMBF and there's nothing here. I can add a folder on that same level right here. So I can put this in my uh, Love Me Too is what I'm gonna call that one. And I have now two, an EMBF and a love folder in my EMB folder. So if I wanna put something in there, I can save that design that's on the screen here. I can save that one in there, but I'm gonna cancel that because I'm going to copy and paste this and put it on here double. And then I'm gonna save that to my USB or export. So I'm gonna click Annie and then I'm gonna put love me too. And I'm gonna put uh, love four times two. There we go, and export. We'll go back and take a look at that really quick. USB storage, there's my USB, there's my EMBF, with the, and there's the design that's in the EMBF. And in the Love Me Too, I have my double design there as well. And I could, I could export again to there. So that's how you work with your USB stick. It's not that difficult if you bring in a, um, let me go back here. If you bring in a USB stick that you've been using before, it will already have your EMB and EMBF folders on there. You will see your EMBF folder because it automatically, the software automatically defaults and opens your EMB, EMB folder for you. So you see your EMBF. We'll be talking more about this as we go along because there's lots of other things besides using those folders that you can do. So bye for now. Have fun playing with your software. And don't forget, join us over on the Genomi Artistic Digitizer Facebook page where there's lots of um, help, tutorials, and inspiration for you. Bye for now.